time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a humble farmer named Jack and his wife, Emma. They had a simple but contented life. One day, while Jack was tending to his small flock of geese, he noticed something unusual about one particular goose named Gloria. Gloria was an ordinary looking goose, but she had a unique ability. Every morning, she would lay a single golden egg. At first, Jack and Emma couldn't believe their luck. They were amazed and overjoyed by the treasure that Gloria provided them each day. Word quickly spread about Gloria's golden eggs, and the village soon buzzed with excitement. People came from far and wide to witness the miracle for themselves. Jack and Emma's once modest farmhouse became a grand attraction and they started amassing a great fortune from selling the golden eggs. Dot. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, Jack and Emma's wealth grew beyond their wildest dreams. They built a grand mansion, adorned themselves with the finest clothes, and surrounded themselves with opulence. However, their newfound wealth had an unintended consequence. Greed. Dot. The couple's insatiable desire for more golden eggs led them to become careless. They no longer tended to Gloria with the same love and care they once had. They demanded more eggs from her, believing that their wealth was the key to happiness. One fateful morning, when Jack and Emma rushed to collect Gloria's golden egg, they found her nest empty. Panic set in as they realized that their precious goose had stopped laying golden eggs. They searched high and low, but Gloria was nowhere to be found. The lesson was clear. Their greed had caused them to lose the source of their prosperity. Jack and Emma were left with their grand mansion and extravagant possessions, but without the simple joy and contentment they once had. Dot the story of the goose that laid golden eggs serves as a timeless reminder that greed and unbridled desire for wealth can lead to the loss of the most valuable things in life, love, contentment, and the simple